Before showing you an interesting table about government under investigation, so this one can see in the internet, this is a fact. All prime ministers in the last 10 years in Israel were investigated by the police. Interesting. So, no doubt that such a phenomenon does not occur in other places, so it must be a reason. So, in fact, Kabbalah already speaks about Ikunei Zohar, speaks about the letters of Israel, we know quite well that Hebrew letters they contain a lot, in permutation of letters, as we wrote in our book. So, the Zohar says that about Israel, they have the letter Rosh there, head, and Lirosh, like God says, is to serve like head, me, and Sarekel, ministers of God, and singing to God. Interesting, this shows what is the purpose of Israel, we you know what well, is the opening to the Ten Commandments. Is written, God says, your people, you are the chosen people, you will be kingdom of priests, holy people. So kings, priests, everything is this idea of being like head, teachers to others. But if one really does not keep Torah, does go in the rest of the Torah. So the opposite is shown. So this is what he said, Israel is, uh, to me God says, minister of God, singing to God, all are the letters of Israel. And the phenomena, which is really not usual, that all prime ministers, up to today, Netanyahu, all of them, Politics are under investigated by investigated by the police. So what we were looking in the Torah, where, where we find like an expression of government under investigation. So the only way that we could find it appearing is one word is the Hebrew word. Memshal, which is a government, Memshal, Nechkar, government, again, investigation, the government which is investigated, and which one? We look for this meeting with the word Israel. So Israel comes here. And the amazing thing is that all came in the book of Genesis, as you can see, Aleph, and the story with Joseph, and it's written that. We know quite well that this argument with Joseph and his brothers, which, as the Torah tells us, was the result of jealousy and hatred. Okay, there were reasons for it, definitely. Everyone thought that he is right. <laughs> so, this is written also in Kabbalistic books, that this was really the root, the source of all argument in Israel up to the time of Messiah. Amazing. So, so as we said, once in the Torah we have government under investigation, investigated, and Israel, really, in this book, Israel was not yet, I mean, as a nation, so therefore it comes in the skip letters, and parallel to it, and as we said, jealousy, jealousy, and hatred, really, this was bring to all this, you know, parties, people, are jealous, they want to, they really want to be the prime minister, want to be a minister, so they are always looking for points to blame the others. This is unfortunately politics we see today with Netanyahu. So what we see in this table, besides this negative, we see that also there is a peace possibility for peace, but it comes together with the word of the Shuvah, repentance, and return back to keeping the Torah, keeping the Sabbath, keeping the holiness and sanctity of the Torah which comes here. So when it is the Torah, and when you have the repentance also parallel to this, yeah, tell us that this is really the rectification of it. And in such a case, the Torah tells us here, if really you will keep the Torah properly, then you will have the Mashiach, the Mashiach, the Messiah, with Elijah together coming, and they will bring you peace. So only by keeping the Torah, which is really the basis of this, and 
the independent Teshuvah, as he says, the Maimonides says, that's a condition for redemption for Mashiach. Only this will be bring peace to you and to the whole world. It's a very, very interesting table. And as we said, what is most interesting in the story of Joseph, uh, really this was the argument, the rift between brothers, which in the end definitely was solved, brought to peace. But as we said, unfortunately everything is a result of keeping the Torah, doing tshuva otherwise without the Torah. So Israel, unfortunately, are not doing their job, which God told them, you are a kingdom of priests, you are a kingdom of kings. You should teach the world, should be light to the world, and not darkness. And in case you don't keep the Torah, unfortunately, so there's lots of darkness. So let us hope that really Israel will realize that the Torah, this is the basis of their existence, and only by keeping the Torah, peace will come to you and to the whole world. And definitely, we are waiting for Elijah, Eliyahu, and Hamashiach, and the Messiah. A very interesting and relevant table to our time.